Well, hello, everybody. I'm Huell Hauser, and get ready because we are getting ready to have a television extravaganza here on KCET. All of our programming between now and 7.30 tonight is about television. And to start things off, I want you to meet Mr. Television, Phil <laughs> Savinick. Uh, Phil works at a place, owns a place here in Hollywood called TV is OK. We're actually a production company. We make television, but as well as making it, we also love television. So we decided to turn our little foyer here into the Hall of Fame of great old TV sets. And you have some wonderful sets. This one I had never seen before. Looks like it's from the 50s. 1957 to 1960 they made them. And they had a swivel screen so that anywhere in your living room you could see the TV set without getting up. That was a Philco. Oh. This one is This Panasonic 70s. up here was based on the astronauts' helmets when they came back from the moon, you know, with the round helmets. <laughs> the space-age Japanese sets of the, of the 70s are really fun. This one's a pyramid, and when you fold it up, it becomes a TV set. Now, this guy's actually a new set made by a company called Retro Modern in Canada, <laughs> and the Earth is the speaker, and the red planet is the remote control sensor, and I think this is actually a, a Chinese walk that they uh, kind of have it landing on. <laughs> this is amazing. You've got a room full of televisions, and you said that was the first Sony television. That was the first Sony television. The Hauser family back in Tennessee <laughs> had one of these old admirals. I know about these. This one held up well. Now, aren't we glad we didn't listen to our mother when she said, don't watch so much TV, do something constructive with your life. All if right. we had, we'd have no career. Now, I know once you get started talking about television, you can go on and on, but we've got to lead into our next program, which is about a gentleman that very few people know, and yet he is Mr. Television. The inventor of television was a fellow named Philo T. Farnsworth, and uh, he was a farm boy in the Midwest, and he watched how the cows were plowing the fields, and he said, you know, an electronic television could work like that, just the electrons going up one row and down the other. And I think he was about 17 when he did it, and he is the unsung hero of TV. And here at TV is OK, he's our hero. All right, he is your absolute hero. Philo the, T. Farnsworth. He's got my name, Phil. Philo, Philo T. T. Farnsworth. Farnsworth. And our next program this afternoon is about this gentleman who actually, if you like television, you're going to love this guy. If you don't like television, he's the guy to hold responsible for it all. Philo T. T. Farnsworth, coming up next. Well, as our tribute to television continues, I continue to visit with Phil Savinick, who is the president of TV is OK, which is a television production house here in Hollywood. Phil and I have been visiting all afternoon, looking at his collection of old televisions and old television memorabilia. And now, Phil, I take absolutely no responsibility. I'm putting a disclaimer on this one for where you're getting ready to take our viewers. Well, I got right someplace now. really special I have to show you here. It is the Shrine to Television, where uh, we, we, we hang all our televisionary art. Uh, I bet you didn't know that the television actually has a patron saint. A saint. patron saint. 1958, Pope Pius decided that television needed a patron saint, and St. Clara of Assisi was uh, ordained in 1958. So we built an altar to her with the universal remotes and the Mexican... Uh, TV cameraman uh, from the Dia del Muerte, so... Uh, and you have wings, uh, angel wings. This, this is the Madonna and the Child here, you know. You have uh, a little shrine here with, what is well, this? Well, every great cathedral has a relic, so rather than St. Peter's toenail, we have St. Milton of Burl's uh, cigar butt here. When he came by, I had him sign it uh, when we were working with him. The Holy Scripture is, of course, a television set. <laughs> I'm surprised and, uh, it's not an old TV guide you've got in here. Well, i got to be honest with you. The oh. TV guide is, uh, <laughs> is here handy at all times. Uh, and you've got this whole <laughs> altar kind of fixed up. You know, it's, it's, I know this is all done in jest. Let's don't offend anybody out Well, there. no, but we're glad TV has a patron saint with some of the stuff that's on there. It needs something. <laughs> and you have some art over here on this the wall. This is televisionary art. Uh, again, uh, TV is an art form that goes out on the air. It comes, it goes so fast. Here I created something that actually exists. Uh, this is the aerial ballet, all the, my little flying TVs. Well, this is wonderful. You have, you have really enlightened us throughout the afternoon to, I, I guess, you know, sometimes we take television too seriously and don't have fun with it, like obviously you do. I mean, this is very creative. Uh, and, and a very interesting thing you have done here, your <laughs> well, own shrine 
to television. Well, anybody who sat through six hours of TV today loves TV as much as we do, and they should be proud of it.